Hi, welcome back to Glen Forge. Um, and today we are with Mr. Paul Graham here, um, woodcarver and blacksmith or knife smith. Mm -hmm. right, yes. So uh, thank you for having us here, Paul. I really appreciate um, you letting us come to your humble abode and your little hovel of a blacksmith. Yeah, not too many people get to come in here. Uh, yeah, that's good. Huh? That's why it's way back in the middle of the oh, I feel, you know, Awesome, I feel special. It's great. Yeah. Um, so could you maybe tell us, uh, how, like, what got you into blacksmithing? What got you into doing wood carving and blacksmithing? Well, I've, I've always been an artist since I was a little kid. I did a lot of drawings on, um, you know, any kind of paper I get my hands on. And then, uh, as, as things evolved, I met a blacksmith and, um, I went just be around him as much as I could. Uh, it was a fascinating for me to see, you know, hot metal and how you could shape it with a hammer. And uh, I, I worked with him for a while and uh, we did some volunteer work up at the Catoctin Mountain um, Park at their, they had a forge up there. Oh, okay, that's pretty sweet. And um, th then I went on to, uh, you know, jumping ahead, I went to art school in uh, Baltimore at the Maryland Institute and uh, I was able to do design work too. I had a, a really good draftsman. Um, so I designed stuff and we made chandeliers and hot racks and hand railings and lighting and, and stuff for, um, you know, clients. Um, awesome. I really enjoyed that and, and learned even more about how you can shape metal with, uh, you know, either a hand hammer or a power hammer. And, um, and this was a fascinating, you can, you know, basically when you heat it up, you can look into the molecular structure of it and it just felt so organic to me, you know, and I was fascinated by it. And then that progressed into uh, knife making. Awesome. And the same thing, um, you know, the shape, the, the steel, but to learn how to heat treat it was, a, you know, a whole process altogether. And, uh, Oh, I know. That's making knives is so different from mm -hmm. is like a completely different world from making just anything else. I just, I, especially when it comes to like the patience involving it. Yeah, you, know, like you have to think many stages in advance. Yes, and that's yes. part of the entry. You know, you don't know exactly. You know, you have a good idea in your mind what you want to make, but you know, as it starts to form under the hammer, sometimes you might want to leave some of that in there or. Uh, or refine it. Uh, so I've been making knives for about 25 years. Um, mm -hmm. I went to the uh, Bill Moran School in uh, in Washington, Arkansas, in 2016, uh, be, because I wanted to be able to learn the process of heat treating and get a consistent result each time, uh, without wondering, you know, and and testing, you know, my own knives. I wanted to get them a little bit more refined before I started making, you know, better and m more difficult knives. So, um, I like my knives to be used. The knives are tools, they always have been, and, um, you know, the, my knives may not be as pretty as some, but um, I, I'm happy when people tell me they really enjoy using them, you know? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, I've actually... It's man's first tool. You know, man's hmm. first tool. Absolutely. Um, yeah, without a knife, it would be very difficult to essentially create a lot of the things that we needed back and yeah. to make everything else yeah, really you could, like yeah. a... You could, you could skin an animal, you could, you know, whittle something to make an additional tool or, um, you know, defend yourself if necessary. And then some, of, some of them guys nowadays even are, are making like not necessarily replicas, but modern fighting knives. Um, you know, I hope my knives are never used to harm anybody, but... <laughs> exactly, yeah, no, yeah. They're pretty intimidating. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, well, knives in general are very intimidating, mm -hmm. no matter what. But I mean, that's but that's what I think that's so fascinating about blades in general. I mean, like, it, there's, a, there's an amazing aesthetic to them. Yep, I mm -hmm. learned to respect them a lot. I, um, I've only had one boo-boo. And it was that one right there. And uh, that's about three and a half inches. And I put mm. my heel and my hand on there and wiggled my thumb. I said, 
Okay, it's all downhill from here because my thumb still works. But uh, yeah, no, I know I got I cut myself actually right here on one of my knives. Um, and it was so sharp I didn't feel it at yeah. first. Go across the my finger, go across, and yeah. that was not fun. A little bit of duct tape goes a long way. <laughs> yeah, I had to kind of like uh, wrap it up and then go to the yeah. urgent care, and that was just a fun day. But yeah. like you know, hey, that's the price of working with this kind of stuff. I wasted the time, but, but yeah. <laughs>